Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, Taurus, it's Dana. What's going on, you guys? How's everybody doing? How's the holidays rocking for you, Taurus? If y'all do the holidays in any way that you do in the holidays, happy holidays, Taurus. Happy holidays. New Year's Eve. I like New Year's Eve. That's like one of my favorite, I suppose. New Year's Eve. I like it. All right, you guys, let's throw down for Taurus. Let's see what's coming in the next, oh, I don't know, six weeks or so. Let's see what's going on in the next six weeks or so and uh, see uh, how the universe is feeling about things. All right, let's do it. Give me a chance to chant. Oops. <laughs> The Nine of Swords in Reverse keeps trying to fly out of this deck. All right. Give me a chance to channel. I will shuffle, pray, I'll lay out all the cards. I will really confuse you for a good second, and I'll sew together a story that I will read from top to bottom, okay? <coughs> Ready? 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 All right, let's focus and concentrate, okay? All right. Spirit. Source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me, Spirit, Taurus, and they want to know what you know. What do you know about whomever, and what do they need to know about themselves, their lives, and their futures? What's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good? Please tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. All right, let's do it, you guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, bottom of the deck. Ooh, the high priestess. Look at that beautifulness right there. Prince of Cups in reverse. There's that Nine of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> the Two of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and the Two of Wands. You know what? We'll take all of this. We'll take, we'll take it all. And it's going to make hella sense to us in just a little while. All right, first card out. Judgment. Conscious, cognitive decision. Um, maybe your decision, maybe a decision in your favor. Let's see, we don't have to go that far over. All right, to the hermit in reverse, talking about uh, withdrawal, isolation. Um, major arcana, both of them, the sun in reverse. There's another one, not seeing something clearly. The five of cups, loss, regret, despair, disappointment, and the nine of cups in reverse, unfulfillment. The star in reverse, not the path, not the purpose, and then boom, the world card says cycle over. The empress in reverse, stagnated maybe. The ace of wands in reverse, a lack of motivation or inspiration. Kind of the same with the princess of cups in reverse, a lack of emotional connection maybe. The ten of swords, endings, pain, betrayal, mindset, the devil, an attachment that is a restriction to your growth, temperance, the king of wands in reverse, the nine of pentacles in reverse, the three of wands, and the king of swords. All right, let's see. Now we're just kind of all repeating a little bit. You know what? We'll take all of those up till that death card, and we may or may not talk about them depending upon how all this goes down right now. Okay. So the root cards are the Tarot Illuminati, and I'm also going to clarify with the Tarot Illuminati. Pfft, mind fuck, right? So I have two decks of these. I love these cards. These are my go-to. As you can tell, they're all, you know, they're well used. <laughs> all right, let's do it. Let's do it. So judgment, first card out. Oh, before we get all started in this, y'all need to know that I have a propensity to be inappropriate. I will most likely swear at some point during this video, and I may or may not smoke my vape on camera. So if 
any of that bothers you, y'all need to leave my house and just carry on because that's the way we roll around here. All right, let's do it. Judgment, first card out. What is judgment here for whomever? Ooh, clarified by judgment. Did y'all see that fly out like that? Double judgment starting out the reading. That's rough, Taurus. Wow, that's beautiful rough. So what else? Judgment, judgment, the hermit in reverse, withdrawal, withdrawal, isolation. You don't see something clearly. Let's see the magician, withdraw, judgment, judgment, the alchemist, withdrawal. Okay, okay, look, the eight of cups, which you don't see clearly, the lovers in reverse. Tell me about this lovers in reverse because that's interesting to me. What is this about? Futile mindset, the seven of swords in reverse. Okay. All right, Taurus, this is what's going on. Okay, this is what's happening right here. So, 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 so. We open this reading with judgment twice, right? Judgment, clarifying judgment, and you saw that judgment card just come flying out, right? So there is a big, 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 huge, big decision that you need to make. And this decision is rooted in your truth. It's rooted in who you fundamentally are, okay? Huge, gigantic decision, all right? Okay, 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 okay. And the alchemist, okay? The alchemist comes in and says, what are you manifesting? Um, you're manifesting something, and for whomever this is for, it's about to come true, okay? You've just been manifesting, wanting something, pointing your direction towards that, um, um, desiring something a, a lot, manifesting it, thinking about it, swirling it around, just manifesting, okay? And it's about to happen, okay? But I don't think you're ready for what's about to happen because there are some things that need to be sewn up so this can happen, okay? The Hermit in Reverse talks about withdrawal, okay? Two things. From a spiritual level, this is about you being withdrawn from the guidance that comes from deep soul searching and introspection, okay? You're trying to make this decision from a human kind of consciousness, and you need to be looking at this whole thing that's manifesting in your life more from a soul perspective, from a linear perspective, right? The old soul that came back from the day, and the soul that is going to be here when you transition to the other side is the same soul, but it comes through this lifetime and it exists within you and it leads you and guides you and shows you the path of your best and highest good. Okay, somewhere along the way, birth, meat suit, the box, we lose sight of our ancient self. The threads that we were sewn from, that's back in the day, that will be here on the other side. It's the same thing going through our life right now, okay? That soul, that ancient you, speaks to you through your intuition and tries to lead you and guide you in the direction of your very best and highest good. And if you manifest, obsess about where your intuition is, is leading you, you are manifesting in the direction of your best and highest good, and things just begin to fall together, okay? Things are about to start falling together for whomever this is for. Double judgment to the alchemist. You created it, you manifested it, now what are you going to do with it? is the question of the day. Okay, the hermit in reverse. There is um, an alternative energy in these cards, okay? 
from a foundational perspective being major arcana and followed by the sun in reverse, also major arcana, the lessons of life, okay? The hermit in reverse says you are withdrawn from the guidance that you need in order to guide you through this situation. The sun in reverse, you're not seeing something clearly because you are withdrawn from the guidance that you need in this particular situation because you're going about it from a fleshy human perspective instead of a linear soul perspective, okay? Okay, you're not seeing something clearly, okay? Now, from a superficial perspective, Hermit in reverse is advising to withdraw. The sun in reverse is saying you are not seeing something clearly enough. You need to withdraw. Five of cups because it's going to be disappointing to the nine of cups in reverse. It's not going to emotionally fulfill you the way that you deserve to be emotionally fulfilled. Okay, hold on. I'm going to explain. The Eight of Cups says you deserve better than this. There is better than this. The Lovers in Reverse says to me that you have outgrown this relationship, this situation ship, this thing. You have outgrown it. You are vibing higher than whomever the other person in this reading is. And you have outgrown this relationship. Okay? Seven of Swords in reverse says you need to break free from a futile mentality. What is that? That you should stay in this situation. Okay, that's the futile mentality that you should stay in this situation because remember, big decisions, big decisions, manifestation, right? You are obviously, okay, one of two things. If this is a, an existing situation, you are obviously not happy in the situation, okay? If this is a, any, any other kind of situation that's, that's coming towards you, um, it's not in your best interest and it's not going to be as great as you're anticipating it to be, okay? All right, so decisions, decisions. A situation that is either existing or is about to exist is not where you need to go or what you need to be doing regardless of how it's explained in your circumstances, okay? All right, justice. What's in your best interest? What's uh, accountability for your journey, for your path, for your purpose? What is in your best interest? Interesting, judgment and judgment and justice, right? What's in your best interest? The Ace of Wands to catch, to 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 catch the vibe, <laughs> to catch the vibe, to catch the fire, to begin to have some kind of new inspirations or aspirations to go in the direction of whatever it is that you have been manifesting behind the scenes. Because this person has been manifesting something and it's about to happen. And I think the rub is, is that you are obligated somehow to this situation. But the opportunity that's going to present itself, you have to either leave this situation to pursue the opportunity or stay in this situation and miss the opportunity because of the situation. And justice says what's in your best interest, Ace of Wands, is to get motivated in a different direction, some kind of new, different motivation. Tell me a little bit about this Ace of Wands. Just one, please, on the Ace of Wands. The Four of Cups. Fantastic, right? Have to take a step back and reevaluate and contemplate what it is that you're doing because you think think you're doing the right thing, but you're not doing the right thing. I see. And the star in reverse down here says that this is not purposeful for your path, for your life, for your future. Look, the wheel in reverse, it's a blockage. Y you in the four of cups energy is the blockage 
to this manifestation because you are you have the propensity to make a bad decision about a situation in your life and forego the opportunity that you're manifesting in in exchange for staying in a relationship that you're all, not all that happy in whether it's work or marriage or love or or school or whatever but you're in a situation that is that's not happy for you okay star in reverse star in reverse says this is not your path this is not your purpose this is not the way that you should be going to the princess of pentacles in reverse you're not going to be able to manifest what it is you think you're going to be able to manifest in this situation all right the world the end of the cycle the world card tells me to tell you that you have a brand new future, a brand new cycle, a brand new phase of your life that is breaking through as we speak with the alchemist right there. There's something better, better with the eight of cups right there, something better for you than this particular situation. And you know it because you've been drawing it into your life somehow, some way. You have. Hmm. Got a sailboat. I don't have a sailboat. I don't like the water. Huh, I know, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus, right? But I don't like the water. I really don't. I like to look at the water, but I don't want to be in or on the water. So I see a sailboat, and it's almost like someone is wanting to go on like an adventure, right? Like some kind of sailing adventure. And you've been thinking about it and thinking about it and manifesting it and manifesting it and doing the little things, right? You bought maybe a crappier boat and you fixed it up and you sold it. And then you bought a better boat and maybe you're fixing it up and selling it, right? You're not just expecting it to just pop into your lap. And you've put in the work and you're you're manifesting it. It, it fills you with inspiration and desire and you just keep doing it. And you keep doing it thinking one day I'm going to have a seaworthy boat that's going to take me on my adventure and that's about to happen that is about to happen I don't know who that's for or why but that is about to happen but it's kind of the same analogy for anybody whatever you have been creating in your life that is passionate and inspirational to you is about to happen but you're either going to have to leave someone behind to do it or you're going to choose to not do it so you don't leave someone behind out of guilt, maybe. The world card says brand new, brand new phase of your life. You have to apply some critical self-analysis to get this card to spin you over into the new chapter. What's the critical self-analysis, right? Well, why would I compromise what is in my guts which is your intuition and your soul leading you and guiding you why would you turn your back on that for something that isn't even remotely fulfilling out of obligation hierophant in my hand right here out of obligation maybe hmm the hierophant on top of the world this is an important little pile of cards right here so I asked, what is this Hierophant? And it's the Knight of Wands. Inspiration. Action towards inspiration leads to the Nine of Cups. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. So in this new phase of your life, this manifestation that is forming, okay? This manifestation that is forming, justice, it's in your best interest, it's your truth, judgment, judgment, it's your truth, the ace of wands, it's, it's filled with potential, it's a new opportunity, but it's on the other side of the reality that you're living right now, okay? The Hierophant represents Taurus, okay? But it represents more of what it is you're standing upon it's it almost goes along with the truth of justice and judgment right it's about who you are what you believe and how it is that you want 
to live the whole rest of your life. And this isn't how you want to live the whole rest of your life. Hmm. Queen of Cups comes on top of this and talks about knowing. For me, as a reader, it talks about knowing. It's always a, a deep, soulful, peaceful knowing that you know that you know. And you know in your guts that this is where you're supposed to go and what it is you're supposed to be doing. The Three of Wands comes on top of this and talks about the future, having some foresight, having some foresight for the future, preparation, anticipation of what? The Ten of Cups, an extreme amount of emotional fulfillment. You got the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups with a bunch of inspired action. The Queen of Cups, knowing that you know, being totally at peace with yourself, the future coming at you, the Hierophant, some kind of significant situation, significant situation in your life to the world. And it's all on the other side of this right here on the other side of this relationship that you've outgrown this relationship that doesn't serve your best and highest good the empress in reverse in the center of the reading this is a creative block how can the universe co-create with you when you're not co-creating with the universe I mean, it's just like straight up. The Empress in the upright, this is an energy of understanding that if you will point your thought life, like the person who manifested that boat, right? If you will point your thought life to where your guts are leading you, it's always going to take you to your true north. It's always going to point you in the direction of your best and highest good. And that's why she is the empress. She creates anything in her life by simply acknowledging her intuition and pointing her mind in that direction. Because that's the path of her best and highest good. In the reverse, it's someone who's not doing that or doesn't have an understanding of those concepts. Okay? Why would you be in reverse? Well, because of all of this up here, right? The lovers in reverse. There is some kind of relationship in your life that is standing in the way. It is not divinely orchestrated. You've outgrown it. And it is, it is emotionally depleting. But either you don't recognize it or you have some kind of guilt, some kind of obligation that keeps you in it. And that is not the path of your best and highest good. So in the reverse, right? What's the problem? Well, the five of swords holding on to some kind of win at all costs, white knuckle grip mindset. What's that? I have to stay in this situation. I can't leave this situation. To the Ace of Swords, see the truth. See the truth of the situation. See through your silly humanness and acknowledge that you are headed in the direction that you're supposed to be going with this alchemist, manifesting whatever it is that you are creating in your life it's coming into fruition and you have to be prepared to terminate this relationship in order to step into it. Ace of Wands in reverse, Princess of Cups in reverse, relationship. You're not into it. You're not into it. A lack of motivation, a lack of desire, a lack of emotional depth or emotional connection to the moon. But you struggle with it. You're struggling on the inside between what you know to be the truth which is this gut thing that you're manifesting versus what you don't want to accept is the truth, which is you have to leave this relationship to get to where you need to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Two of Pentacles, balance. Balance, prioritizing. You're having a hard time prioritizing your own sense of well-being over something else. 
the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles says prioritize yourself. And I know a lot of people are out there because they're like, oh my gosh, no. You're supposed to sacrifice for everybody all the time. That's your job. That's your purpose. You're supposed to just, not everyone, okay? Some people are called to do that and other people are called to other things. Your purpose, whoever this is in this reading, your purpose is not to sacrifice your whole everything out of something that you have some kind of obligation to. Whether it's a legal obligation or a, a contractual obligation, verbal, between Two people, school, work, marriage, love, relationships, friendships, whatever this relationship is, needs to go. It just needs to go. Ten of Swords, all up in your head, all up in your head, in your head, in your head. About what? Well, the Four of Swords in reverse, mentally restless about a lack of success. This is where the reading takes a slight turn, okay? Now, part of the reason you don't want to leave this relationship up here is because somehow it is financially beneficial to you or you are financially beneficial to someone else, okay? That is a huge underlying factor here. The sense of well-being, okay? Sense of security. You are either a sense of security to this situation or this situation is a sense of security to you, okay? And you're not sure how you would balance out the money or the financial aspect of things, okay? Ten of Swords is about a mindset of crisis or betrayal, okay? So feeling like you would betray this situation if you left it to pursue your own dreams and desires, okay? That's the mindset. The Four of Swords in reverse, mentally restless about that, okay? Mentally restless about that and the lack of success that might be associated with it. The Devil, okay? Old El Diablo, as we would say in the South, okay? This card is about an attachment that is a restriction to your growth, okay? I know I said K like five times. I'm processing, okay? Okay? Processing. The devil. An attachment that is a restriction to your growth. The devil represents the flesh nature in the tarot just as much as the high priestess represents the soul nature of the tarot, okay? This is your flesh nature. It's an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. What is it? The Ten of Pentacles, security, foundation, and money, okay? This relationship, um, again, like I said, has some kind of, of, of security attachment for you. And it is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. If you're worried about how you're going to support these people and you're not doing something out of guilt because you feel like you're supposed to be supporting these people, that's something that you need to take a step back and reevaluate in your life, your motivations and why. If this situation is supporting you and you're afraid to follow your desires and your dreams because you would much rather trade comfort for inspiration, then this is your attachment that is restricting your growth. If this is someone who um, is having financial problems and considering getting into a situation with someone else to alleviate those financial problems, this is the attachment that is the restriction to your growth. However this fits for you, whatever this relationship is for you, bazillion different ways you could, you could, you could put it in, right? Whatever it is for you, that is your devil. Okay, that's your shadow side, your darker side, your human side. The side of you that is not taking into consideration the spirit 
spiritual movement that is happening in your life and just focusing on the flesh aspect of your basic, basic human understanding. Okay. All right. Temperance. Major Arcana, just like the devil, just like all the other majors in here, okay? Temperance is asking you to temper yourself. Calm down. Take a deep breath. And look at this situation from a more balanced and peaceful perspective, okay? Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands talks about your ambitions, your desires, your inspirations, your aspirations, your desire to achieve and succeed. The fire that burns in your chest is your purpose. That is your path and your purpose. The fire that burns in your chest is your path and your purpose. Okay? This is the, that is that Queen of Wands right there. The Knight of Pentacles says that this fire that burns in your chest, this thing that you are manifesting, this new turning over into a new cycle of your life is going to bring to you steady, stable, long-term security. Whatever that is, that's what that card says to me on top of that Queen of Wands. And the Hierophant comes on top of it and says that's exactly what Taurus wants. Taurus wants something that is going to bring steady, stable, long-term security and well-being. And this new thing that is going to form in your life is going to bring you that. Don't trade your soul path for your human path. Don't compromise on that and see that the situation that you are contemplating here doesn't provide you or will not provide you with what it is that you're seeking. It's like a temporary solution. It's like everything else that we try to do in our flesh. It blows up in our face because we're just fucking stupid, okay? King of Wands in reverse. Your ego, self-centered, egocentric, narcissistic energy. It's a uh, lack of confidence, right? And that's where the egocentric, self-centered, narcissistic thing comes from anyway. Deep down inside, they're super, super insecure. They're super, super um, soft on the inside. And I don't mean soft like in a squishy way. I mean soft like no foundation. They are cowards deep down inside the egocentric, self-centered, narcissistic people. Okay? Unfortunately... Most of humanity is egocentric, self-centered, and narcissistic, right? They truly are. Because if you don't have a soul understanding, the linear perspective of why we're here and what the hell we're doing here, if you don't understand life from that perspective, everything is about me, 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 and me. Me. King of Wands in reverse to the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Pentacles in reverse is about a waste of time. What's the waste of time? Two of Swords, Crossroads. It's a waste of your time to process this situation from a self-serving perspective because if you're the one supporting them, you get something out of it. If they're the one supporting you, you're getting something out of it. It's you either way. And you need to take a step back and realize that there is a massive, huge transformation that is about to take place that's directly related to something that you have been creating over time. The three of wands. Have some foresight. Get ready. Here it comes. Have some foresight. Get ready. Here it comes. King of Swords. And we need you to have your mind in the game. We need you to be in tip-top shape so you can make the decisions, judgment, judgment, that need to be made when this opportunity presents itself. Okay? Prince of Swords in reverse on top of that King of Swords because right now your mind's not where it needs to be. 
okay? Strength in reverse. You're focusing on the weakness of the Six of Wands in reverse, a lack of success. Instead of focusing on success, you're focusing on a lack of success. Uh-huh. Chariot in reverse. And while you're doing that, we can't take you to where you need to go because we don't vibe with low vibrations. The universe is high vibrational, high frequency stuff. And the low vibrational, low frequency stuff is just, it, it just repels each other. Five of swords in reverse. Change your mindset. Three of swords in reverse. Come to terms with some shit. Justice in reverse because it's not in your best interest Four of Cups to stay in a place of contemplation and compromise to death. Death says, bring, just like the world, okay, bring an end to all of this. Make the hard, serious decisions that you need to make in your life to clear up the real estate so you, this new beautiful future can take root and grow. It's an end of an old cycle and the beautiful beginning of a new cycle. Death is always a beautiful new beginning to the new cycle. Right? Anywho, High Priestess. Woo-wee! High Priestess. They're talking to you. They're telling you, Two of Wands, how to step into your future. Eight of Swords. But you're so tied up in your own mental imprisonment that you can't see the forest through the trees. Queen of Pentacles, you, you in your title, Two of Cups, relationship, that's this relationship back here. This is you holding title in this relationship, okay? Nine of Swords in reverse, but the relationship, Prince of Cups in reverse, isn't viable. It's not a viable relationship. It's not. It's not. It's not a viable relationship, and you know that. And if you're, if, if you're sitting there going, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, then this reading is absolutely not for you, okay? All right? I asked what all of this is about, and I got synchronicity. So let's read it. 87, synchronicity. This card indicates a need to have faith in the universal order of events, even in the midst of hopelessness and uncertainty. There is no such thing as an accident or a coincidence in the universe, and the perfect people and opportunities will appear miraculously when least expected. Even when you can't logically comprehend how your dreams could possibly come true, you must trust in the magical power of synchronicity to deliver what you need. Remember, it isn't your job to know how things will unfold. It's simply your job to believe and know that all is well. The hows, whens, and whos lie in the hands of the divine. But once you surrender the outcome, you are shown the next logical step to take. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are encouraging you to trust in the power of synchronicity. By living in constant alignment with Source through positive thoughts, emotions, and prayer, you will automatically attract miraculous synchronicities into your life. Boom. There you go, Taurus. There you go. There you go. There you go. I hope this helps someone. If you need your cards read about this, you can hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org. And um, I will see you next time. Namaste. Oh, Christmas gift cards. I got Christmas gift cards if you want to give the gift that keeps on giving. All right, guys. Namaste.